Imagine a world on the brink of chaos, a world where the spiritual and physical realms collide in a climactic battle of good versus evil. What role does Israel, a small yet significant nation, play in this end-time prophecy? In the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 3, it speaks of two witnesses sent by God, believed by some to be Elijah and Moses. For three and a half years they will stand unflinching against the Antichrist, testifying to prepare the Jews for encountering Jesus. For three and a half years despite the Antichrist's efforts, he won't be able to silence them. At the end of three and a half years they are killed by the Antichrist. Despite the Antichrist's attempt to subdue them, they miraculously rise back to life after three and a half days. Upon the resurrection of the two witnesses, calamity strikes earth, many die, and terrified survivors give glory to God. It is then that many Jews finally recognize Jesus Christ as their Messiah. The role of Israel in the end times becomes clear, to guide as many Jews and others to the saving knowledge and faith in Jesus Christ. Today, we see these extraordinary end-time events unfolding before our eyes. The re-establishment of Israel in 1948 signified a pivotal prophecy fulfilled, a sign pointing towards the imminent return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth, the New Jerusalem mentioned in Revelation chapter 21 verse 2. In today's world, Israel commands the attention of leading nations, many of whom will one day unite against it at the Battle of Armageddon during the Tribulation. God, speaking through the prophet Zechariah, vows to protect Israel, the apple of his eye, leading as many as possible to recognize Jesus as the true Messiah and Savior. In Romans chapter 11 it is written that Gentiles who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior are grafted in and made heirs of salvation in the kingdom along with the Jews. They are considered spiritual Israel and will also inherit the kingdom of God through faith in Jesus. The Lord's Prayer begins with, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. When the disciples asked Jesus Christ how to pray, he was speaking of the physical kingdom of the New Jerusalem coming to Israel, and also of God's spiritual kingdom in the heart of the believer, as they are shaped by the indwelling Holy Spirit to embody more of what Jesus Christ desires for them. In conclusion, Israel's role in the end times is to guide as many as possible to a saving faith in Jesus Christ. It stands as a beacon of prophecy, a testament to God's divine plan, and a guidepost to the future. We hope this discussion on the significance of Israel in end times, prophecies has piqued your curiosity and increased your understanding. Remember, keeping your eye on Israel provides valuable insight into the future and the relevance of the Bible today.